what we're really looking and focusing on is interactions. What are the interactions that make a difference as people change the way they engage with each other? In this beginning of the 21st century, collaboration and co-creation are the key words to success in organizations. Once you add in the word collaboration and co-creation, you're talking about working and interacting with others. Now the stakes are higher around our interactions. Now the stakes are higher if we make mistakes or if we have waste. And so I think it's timely for us to be thinking about the interactions that we're having with each person every day in the organization. And so our focus around the four keys are really around how are people interaction? What are the quality of those interactions? And so the four keys are? Lean into discomfort, listen as an ally, state your intent and your intensity, and share your street corners. And so those four are really the powerful common language. It doesn't matter if somebody's in Singapore, somebody else is in China, somebody else is in the UK, and somebody else is in North America or somewhere in the United States or Latin America. Having that common language enables everyone to understand what each other is saying. So when I say I'm gonna lean into discomfort, somebody knows, oh, I better really listen to this person because they're doing something that's gonna be hard. When I say I really need you to listen as an ally, I'm really hearing that person say, slow down, really listen to me, really pay attention to what I have to say, because what I'm saying is a risk, I'm leaning in. When somebody states their intent and their intensity, we're really wanting to hear, is this just a thought I have? We're gonna talk about notion stakes, boulders, and tombstones, or is this something that's a go-do? And so getting clear about how strongly do I feel about something, and how much do I really need you to act on that now, or how much is this open to a conversation? becomes the third key. And the fourth key is really hearing each person's perspective, or what we call street corner, to make sure we're getting that 360 degree view. But when we use that language, it doesn't matter where in the globe you are, the reality is I know what you mean, and I know how strongly you mean it. And then I know how to act, and that eliminates a tremendous amount of waste. It's just been fun to see people playing with the concepts, learning about the concepts, practicing it with their team members and seeing those teams really blossom and being to bring this language to a way of operating and so that it's actually becoming a language of the organization. So one of the things in the book you'll find is that there's um, not only is there a description of what the behavior is, but there's also great case examples of how people have actually used it. So I, I, one of my favorite cases um, that I love was one of the leaders we worked with in an organization was talking about creating some new products. And uh, the person was suggesting some possibilities and this leader said inside of him, everything in him was saying, no, 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 no. But he decided he was gonna listen as an ally. And so he said to the person, all right, tell me more about this potential product and how that might serve our markets. And instead of him shutting down the conversation, he listened as an ally, he asked the person to you know, kind of share some other thinking and then opened it to the team. And even though they didn't come up with what that person's initial suggestion was, it actually led them do, down some new doorways that they never would have had. And so that was simple behavior there about just listening as an ally enabled them to come up with something new that they never would have created. And I think those are the si kinds of examples of where people actually have used the behaviors and found themselves going down paths that they never would have gone down before. One of our client systems, um, someone was walking through and one of the senior leaders said, I wonder how many vows there are in this organization. And a group of people spent all night, that night, counting how many vows. Leaders talk, but we can't have their talk always mean action. And now is that their intent? And so the sense of whether it's a notion stake, boulder, or a tombstone starts creating some degree of commitment to the concept that's being discussed and allows for people to hear the leader and ask clarification from the leader that allows for the right work to be done versus people doing anything, something just because they heard it from the leader. It's very simple, it's practical, it's got cases that people can use, um, it's got checklists. So if you wanna know what are the essence of how to use this behavior and how to use this key, here are the things you should do. Um, so we've, we really try to make it user friendly and simple to read. I mean, you could probably sit down in an hour or so and read the book. Um, so when you're on the airplane or, you know, just needing something quickly to pick up, it's something we hope that people will give to all their teams. It's usable from the front line to the C-suite.